Welcome back. Let's put some clothing on our figure and have a look how that works. This takes us down into how content works in general, but also how to use content with other content. I'm going to stay in the Genesis 9 Starter Essentials and head down here on my Smart Content tab over to Wardrobe. And I can see I have a couple of wardrobe items here that come free with the Starter Essentials, and they will certainly get us started. I don't know if my character is going to be a man or a woman yet, so I'm going to go and keep it very unisex with the Genesis 9 base t-shirt and the Genesis Genesis 9 base shorts. So the way this works is if you have the figure selected in your scene tab, you can just go and double click the wardrobe item and that will load itself into the scene and onto the figure, but also it'll parent itself over here underneath the figure. If you open that little disclosure triangle, you can see that there's a lot of things that are underneath the figure already. One of them is the shirt. The shirt here has this eyeball icon. If I click that, then the shirt is still in the scene, but it's no longer visible. So I can make that visible and invisible this way. There's other things here like the eyelashes and the tear ducts and the eyes and the mouth. So those are all things that are part of the figure. But the base shirt here, that is new. So the beauty of it is if uh, an item of clothing is loaded this way, and I was going to go and load the shorts the same way, click the figure, double click the shorts. And then all of a sudden, our guy is wearing both a t-shirt and some shorts. The beauty of loading content this way is that as it's parented to the figure, it is also auto-fitted to the figure. So that means if my figure shape changes, the clothing will automatically follow within reason. And that's a wonderful, wonderful feature of the Genesis figure. So let's put this to the test. And just with these clothing items on there, let me go one step out of here of my Genesis 9 starter essentials and find myself another figure that I'm going to go and apply to this Genesis figure. Let's pick the first one in the list, which is Angela. Double click it. This is another product that's installed on my system. And I'm going to go and double click Angela here with Genesis 9 still selected. And as I do that, I get a little dialogue that pops up here that says, hey, I detect that there is already a figure in your scene. Now, would you like to load a second one or would you like to replace the current figure in your scene with whatever you've just selected. And that is exactly what I want to do. I want to select here the apply this character to the currently selected figure. Exactly what I want to do. Hit accept. And then Das Studio goes ahead and shapes my gray figure into the Angela shape and also applies Angela's skin textures to it. And just like that, we have a different person, but the clothing completely follows. Isn't that amazing? That is just so cool. These are usually dials underneath the hood. So you'll be able to dial Angela out a little bit or dial other characters into this as well to literally create your dream character under the hood. This is seriously cool. Let me go try this with another figure just to show you the power of this. Maybe we'll use Freya or we'll use Julia. Julia is the name of my wife, actually. But this Julia looks completely different to my Julia, which is greatly confusing to me. So I'll double click the figure here. Always uh, make sure it's the, with the Genesis figure still selected so that this can happen under the hood. And now we're going to turn them into a completely different character. Boom. How exciting. This is how the Genesis system works. So go and catch up with me. Play around with a couple of figures here. The viewport looks a little bit bright right now, but we're going to talk about that in the next video. Get caught up with me, apply a few characters, and then we'll talk about materials and how to make the viewport less bright. Talk to you in a moment.